Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Today we'll be going into the book of um, John chapter 15 and we'll start from the uh, verse 6 to dig out a few pertinent things. I'll be reading from the King James Version. This is Jesus talking now. <clears throat> if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. So, is is actually talking about somebody who was in Christ or who you know you could say probably was in Christ did not abide in Christ chose to step out or backslid. It says that, that one is cast forth as a branch. So when you cast out a branch, what happens if you cut off a branch and throw it away? It, it no longer has life giving sap, so it dies and it withers away. So this is what Jesus is saying. He's cast forth as a branch. And it's withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. This is metaphorically speaking of being cast into hell, ultimately. That, that one becomes unproductive. He cannot bear fruit. He cannot ask of the Father and produce prayer fruit. Now listen, it says verse, in verse 7, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, in you, you shall ask what you will. So he's saying that you are, you, you are part of the plant, living in the uh, uh, you, you the branch. You are still attached to the plant, the stem, and then you are getting sap from the plant. He says, "You shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you." Now he's like he's now telling you what this thing actually means if you are vitally attached to the plant. Say, herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. So when, you are, when the branch is attached, it has the opportunity of being nourished, and it will produce fruit, abundant fruit. But if it is detached from the uh, stem itself, it dries, it's weird that it doesn't produce fruit. And he's now saying that, in, in this instance, he's telling you that that fruit is you ask and it will be done for you. You ask it to be done for you in abundance. So you, 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 you keep on asking and it will keep on being done for you. That's abundant fruit. And that is, he says that is the way that the Father is glorified. That you, you stay on earth and a vital, um, vital unit here on earth that bridges between heaven and earth. So you ask the Father for his will. From the heavens and you are the channel with which it is brought down to earth the more you do it the more the father is pleased and glorified you want to please the father you want to bring glory unto his name then be vitally attached as a branch abide in him and let his words abide in you so that you can ask with confidence and believe that it will be done for you and then it gets done for you here then the father is glorified god bless you hallelujah